Katie. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Well, if you saw the last couple videos, I did a seven chamber split cup and I mit turned the, put the colors in different chambers for three different paintings. This was, let's see, that was, this was the last one. Where did it go? <laughs> I don't know where it went. Here it is. It dried nice. I think this was my favorite outcome. Yeah, anyway, today I want to do a swipe. I'm going to make puddles. I've got some violets, permanent rose. Let me tell you about my colors. I have a prism violet by Liquitex. I have a Windsor Violet by Windsor Newton. I have a Permanent Rose by Windsor Newton that I added a little bit of Pink Tourmaline Extreme Sheen. This, I'm pretty sure, is Natfall Red Light. I pulled it off my shelf. I like the way it looked with the violets that I didn't have quite enough so what I did was mix the ruby extreme sheen so it has sparkle now this is aquamarine by Liquitex this is light blue violet by Liquitex this is 24 karat gold by DecoArt and this is Amsterdam Titanium White and Water. All of my other colors are mixed two parts Floetrol to one part paint and a small amount of water just to get to the consistency I wanted. All right. Everything has two parts flow troll except for the Deco Art 24 karat gold that is a little less than one to one. Don't forget, always check the level of your canvas. All right. I think I'm going to lay the Windsor Violet down is a primary color. Then I'm going to go from there. Okay. Well, not only do I have Winston in the studio today, but I have Icky. That's his little son. He's about seven years old. Sweetest little dog. I hope I'm in focus. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the the heck was this? Oh, prism violet, sorry. That's actually one of my favorites. Let's go in with the light blue violet. Yeah, 
Yeah, little icky. He's a good little boy. He protects me from all those man-eating squirrels out there. <laughs> I have four chihuahuas. I wouldn't trade them for anything. Okay. Aquamarine. Beautiful next to the violet. Now I probably have enough paint, but I wanted to add a little bit of contrast. I'm going to put just a small amount of this, what I believe is Mapthol Red Light with the Extreme Sheen Ruby. And then the permanent rows. Always check the consistency of your paint. They can thicken while you're mixing other colors. Some colors thicken up quicker than others. said my swipe is Amsterdam titanium white and just water it's about one part paint to one part water it doesn't leave a trace it pretty much goes right back into the it doesn't leave a, a an indent it, it barely leaves a tiny little mound See what happens. I've been experimenting with using just the Amsterdam and water instead of Aussie Floetrol. these bowls. Okay, let's start right here. pretty. I think I'm going to do three swipes. Another one here and another one there. I'm going to stretch it out and see how far this will go. Now I've never used Aussie Floetrol, so I really don't know how different these cells are, but it's these are very pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go this direction.
And that's little Winston snoring. He's 16 now. My little chocolate chihuahua. He's my heart. I got him when he was a tiny little baby. He, he weighed about the, he weighed four ounces, the size of a stick of butter. The poor little guy, when I got him, he had parvo. The vet wanted to put him down and we took him to the vet the day after we got him to get him checked out. And I just refused to let him die. I was so in love with him. Okay, I'm going to come this way. I think. Let me turn this around. Yeah, that'll be better. Give that a torch. Very pretty. Let's have a little coffee. Mm. Okay. I don't know if I should wait a little while. If I need a flow extender, let's do one more little swipe right there. Yeah, for me, the Aussie flow trial was just too expensive. extender. Let's use some of this violet right here. Just a little bit to get me to the corners. I want to thank all. I'm new to YouTube. And I want to thank all my new subscribers and the comments, the likes. I really appreciate it. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Subscribing doesn't cost anything. Let's stretch this out. I really like the ultramarine. I always start with the weight of your paint in the center of your canvas. I'm going to go to the corner nearest you. I forgot to put the gold in there, but I'm not sure. I wasn't sure whether I was going to use it or not. If you've ever used it, you know how reactive it is. So I didn't know how it was going to act with the Amsterdam and water. All right, I'm going to go to this corner here. Bring your paint back to the center.
Well, it's pretty. You might think I'm lecturing you when I tell you to bring your paint back to the center, but <laughs> I'm really reminding myself also. You get so excited, you just want to see what it's going to look like. And you should always start in the center and then go where you're going and bring your paint back. That way you can keep your composition without it going weird. Now I almost wish I had put more of the ultramarine. That's really pretty. Back to the center. And now down to your corner. Then we'll look at it and see if we need to adjust anything, our composition. We should have enough paint to Oh, that's pretty. Should we tilt anywhere else? Maybe here? And go right here. You start in the middle, you can you can take your paint anywhere you want. Hmm. I like it. I like the way that naphthol red looks with that ultramarine. It's very pretty. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit of something right there I want to get off. Even when you're done tilting, bring the paint back to the center so it dries evenly. Well, I hope you liked this video. Please give me a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe. If you ring the bell, you'll be notified when I upload a new video. I upload nine out of 10 days I, I, I do a video. I wanna thank you all for stopping by. Don't forget to get the drips off the bottom edge of your canvas, touch up your corners. Okay, I'm gonna take my gloves off, give it one more torch, and then I'm gonna bring you down for a closer look. Just enough fuel. Okay, it's gonna make a noise. <laughs>